Good morning, dogs. It is Tuesday. Hope you all had a good three-day weekend. I had a marvelous three-day weekend. Thank you, Evans. After the pledge, there will be DECA, college visits, dance, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Battle of the Books sign-up sheet is in the library, so make sure if you're interested, check it out and sign up. DECA Cookies will be selling cookies after six period. Stop by the cookie cart for your chocolate chip, M&M, and double fudge cookies. It is two cookies for a dollar, and I don't know about you, but that's definitely a deal, so make sure you get them before they're gone. Also, coming later this month to your FHS DECA cookie cart will be the fall sugar cookies. For the ones who love to dance, there's a dance call-out meeting on Wednesday during community. I don't want to outshine anyone, so I'll sit this one out. But make sure to be there if you're interested. There are also multiple college visits coming up this September, so make sure to check the chatter and the student services for more information. Now to the one and only Aiden Hudspeth with sports. What's up, party people? Remember, today's Tuesday, not Monday. Shout out to Mr. Jagger, as I thought I was supposed to be in his room for community this morning. Anyways, how was everyone's Labor Day? Surely weren't working too hard, right? We're back, everyone. New people and new positions these next couple weeks, but you already know the greatest sports host is returning. Looking back from sports that, uh, from Friday and the weekend, the football team unfortunately fell to the Bruins of Tri-West, 0-56. Coach Byers says Caleb Boggs led the team in rushing and Garrick Burge led the team in receiving this week. The defense was once again led in tackles by Lalo Castillo. The offense and defense also had a lot of young guys step up like freshman James Lozano and Alex Trejo at linebacker and sophomores Darren Barkley at wide receiver and Dennis Barkley at quarterback. The special teams unit looks to make big improvements this week in both the kicking and returning game. The Hot Dogs travel to Southmont this week to take on the Mounties at 7 p.m. on Friday. The JV gets their first home game of the season on Saturday at 10 a.m. Nice effort, guys. We would also like to add that, our, that Hot Dog TV's very own Den Doug Wood, unfortunately, suffered a concussion in Friday's game will be, and will be out for the remainder of the season. Make sure to keep our QB in your prayers this week. Over the weekend, the cross-country team traveled to Brownsburg to run in the Brownsburg Invitational. Coach Galati writes, both team, teams weren't intimidated racing among several state-ranked state teams. The girls' team finished 15th out of 23 teams, notably defeating another Sagamore Conference team, Tri-West, along with county rival Rossville. The girls were led by Alina Ramirez in 56th place out of 176 runners with a time of 21.40, the third, 13th fastest time in school history. The boys' team finished 16th out of 24 teams, also defeating Tri-West and Rossville. The boys were led by Chris Angelis, and he ran in the lead pack all race to finish in fifth place overall out of 209 runners, just five seconds away from the eventual winner. Chris ran a time of 15.44, the fourth fastest time in school history, and was a mere five seconds away from the school record. Amazing job, guys. Way to get it done. For sports today, the boys' tennis team is traveling a very long bus ride to Southmont to play the Mounties at 5.30. Best of luck, boys. Man, there must be a lot of traveling going on tonight as the girls' soccer team is also traveling to Southmont. Their game will be starting at approximately 6 p.m. Both teams got to show out and show Southmont who the dogs are. All, all in the same night. I believe that wraps up sports for this fine Tuesday. Hope everyone has a twisty Tuesday, and I hope everyone gets after it. We back, baby. Another amazing week to be a hot dog, although it's a short one. Anyways, now we'll be sending it to our new weatherman. Kai Kirby. Thanks, Aiden. Good morning, hot dogs. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys enjoyed your three-day weekend. Today's low will be 70, and the high will be 88. It will be partly cloudy from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The wind today is at 4 miles per hour. The humidity is at 91%. Be sure to go out today and enjoy the weather. That's it for the weather. Have a great Tuesday, hot dogs. Now back to your host. Thanks, Kai. And for today's Trivia Tuesday, who went to regionals for wrestling in the year 2022-2023 season? DM the FHS student section to answer. And today's lunch, and lines 1 and 2 is General TSO chicken, and lines 3 and 4 is cheeseburger with seasoned french fries. 
Also, a special happy birthday goes to Gabriel Montalvo Soto, Alex Trejo Martinez, and Aaron Renteria. That is all for the morning announcements. Hope you guys have a good day, and we will see you dogs tomorrow.